Hi, we're researchers at the University of Toronto. We're here today at the Ontario Science Centre talking about stem cells. What exactly is a stem cell and why is it important? So a stem cell is an unspecialized cell of the human body and they exist in all organisms um, on, on, in this world. So because the cells are unspecialized, they have the potential to differentiate into more specialized cells. It's capable of dividing. So it can make, can be one cell and it can make two cells. And that other cell can also be a stem cell or it can be one of these specialized cells. So we say that it can self renew, so it can make more stem cells and it is multi-potential. So that means that a blood stem cell can make all the blood cells and a brain stem cell can make all of the cells that are in your brain. So I've just met a lady who is a nurse and she mentioned that a patient of hers went to Mexico for a treatment uh, with stem cells. Can you, can you explain to me why would, why would someone do that? People are finding out that we have this new technology called stem cells and um, we're promising that, oh, well, these cells can do things. These cells can cure your disease. People who are in other countries are taking advantage of this by offering these treatments. And the problem is, is that a lot of these treatments haven't gone through the clinical trials yet. They haven't been thoroughly tested and we don't know what's going to happen. So sometimes they work, a lot of the times they don't. And um, there, are, there have been some cases where people have gone to other countries to receive, um, it was a treatment for a um, type of brain cancer, no, some sort of brain disease, and they received a stem cell treatment for it, and they ended up getting cancer in their brain because of it. So like, this is something that is very worrisome to us in that these are being offered to patients without going through the rigorous standards that are normally required. I'm wondering how far do you envision the, the technology to take you? I think uh, right, right now I would say that we're at the tissue making level. So we're definitely not able to generate entire organs, mainly due to the complexity, just simply the physical structure of, for example, a heart. Uh, right now is, uh, is beyond our reach, uh, but we're certainly able to generate um, cardiomyocytes, uh, heart cells, which we can see them beating, and we're able to generate um, sort of uh, simple structures, simple structures like bladders. Uh, I know that um, Recently, there's been a, a case of a trachea being regenerated in, uh, in, in Europe. Uh, but I think eventually that, that's definitely the goal. You know, whether we're going to be able to exactly mimic the organs that we have is, is open to question. But I think that uh, eventually, I think that we'll be able to, to, to generate functional structures that either resemble or mimic organs. Uh, what would you, what would in your mind would be the number one thing that's uh that the public thinks about stem cells that's not really true or, or, or is a mythical type of uh, uh, feeling about it? Well, there is a lot of potential for, for stem cells to cure essentially every genetic disease. The key word is potential. Uh, there comes an element of danger with that, you know, with, uh, with the potential to become any tissue, stem cells also have the potential to turn into teratomas, into tumors. And this is, this is uh, largely what precludes uh, a lot of the work uh, to be done on humans right now, because uh, these things are, are just as deadly as they can be helpful. Well, where did the uh, controversy begin and how did it carry on? So I think a lot of the controversy came about when the idea of embryonic stem cells started. Um, so these are cells that we can take and put them in a dish and basically generate any cell we're interested in. Um, the biggest controversy around those cells is that we have to take them from very early fertilized eggs. So this is a couple days or a couple weeks after the egg has been fertilized. And it's, it's what's called a blastocyst. It's really nothing more than a ball of cells that within that ball are stem cells that we can then extract. Um, the problem with that is it essentially destroys what would become an embryo. And the people who were uh, ethically opposed to that idea latched on to the idea of it's, a, it's killing what would become a, a baby. And you know, that turned in, that kind of caught fire and that became, oh, well, we're 
getting cells from aborted fetuses or things like that. And that's not, that's not really the case, but it's easy to understand how that would become what people would think. Um, what we're trying to do is explain to people that, that well, first of all, the, the cells that would become embryonic stem cells are, again, these little balls of, of clusters of cells that are really aren't even an embryo yet. And the main source of these cells is actually from fertilization clinics where people go because they can't have children or no, normally. So they go and they, they donate their eggs and they fertilize the eggs and they get, you know, 10 or so of them fertilized that are okay. And then they put, you know, one or two of them back into the mother to try to become, to have a baby. And you have these leftovers and they're just going to be either frozen and stored or more likely discarded because they're not going to be needed anymore if, if the, the baby becomes healthy. So we're saying, well, why can't we, if it's okay with the parents, because we always get authorization from the parents before we do it, use those cells for research rather than just essentially throwing them in the trash. And that's something that we've been trying to communicate to the people who are more ethically opposed to the embryonic stem cell research is that it's not, you know, we're not hanging outside of uh, uh, abortion clinics trying to get, you know, leftover tissue from people who are, you know, we're not, we're not trying to, and we're not, we're not for fertilizing our own eggs for research purposes. These are eggs that have already been fertilized. We're al they're already going to be, be used for some purposes or discarded, so we should at least be able to use the ones that are no longer wanted by these the, the parents. 